Good evening, everybody. Could we come to order, please, and start with apologies for absence. Chairman, we have apologies from Councillor Burroughs and Councillor Lewis. Thank you. Are there any declarations of interest in matters before us this evening? If not, can we approve the minutes of the last Cabinet meeting on pages 1 to 10 of the agenda? Are they approved? Approved. Thank you. Uh, as usual, to confirm that items of business part, part 1 will be considered in public and that items of business mark part 2 will be in private. The first report tonight, agenda item 5, page 11 of the agenda, Council Budget 2019-20, Revenue and Capital, Month 10, Budget Monitoring Report, Council Bianco. Uh, thank you, Leader. Um, well, it is exactly as you have just described it. Uh, it's the Month 10 Report, uh, which is for January, um, and uh, it shows again a slight improvement uh, on the previous month, which is all good news. Um, it, the cumulative underspend now sits at 1.769 million, uh, and the forecast um, end of year, that is to say 31st of March, um, un, uh, reserve uh, will, will therefore be uh, 34.33 million. So that's all good news, and it moves us in a good direction. The, uh, there are uh, eight um, recommendations which I will move. I know you're going to speak to some of them, uh, uh, Leader, as you normally do, um, so I think uh, there isn't a great deal to say, um, other than that uh, our savings remain on track. Uh, virtually all of them are now banked, uh, so that is also uh, good news. And uh, the capital position remains uh, as it has previously been, which is that uh, we're currently underspend to the tune of about 23 million, 23 and a half million, but that's predominantly to do with um, uh, rephasing. Um, so uh, that money will be spent. Uh, it's just uh, rolling forward slightly. So uh, we have a significant budget there, and um, over the whole um, of the MTFF period. Uh, um, uh, we will spend uh, all of the money, but uh, it often slides slightly uh, behind. Um, and on that basis, I will move the recommendations and uh, pass over to you. Thank you, Councillor Bianco. Um, recommendation one, to note the budget position at uh, month 10, January 2019. It's outlined in table one on page 15. And if you look at that table, as Councillor Bianco has just indicated, we've got um, an outturn for £34,337,000, so sound position. The recommendation two, to note the Treasury Management Update at January, shown at Appendix E on page 52. And again, as usual, the important thing to look for there, there were no breaches of the prudential indicators or non-compliance with the Treasury Management Policy and Practices. Recommendation three is to continue the delegated authority the Chief Executive and myself in respect of agency and consultancy assignments. These are detailed at Appendix F on page 54. Recommendation 4 is to agree the appropriation of land at the former Great Benty Garage site from the General Fund to the Housing Revenue Fund to be de developed as General Needs Housing. The redevelopment of this um, former garage site um, is approved in the HRA capital program to provide two two-bedroom 70 detached bungalows. Um, that's the purpose of it, to increase the supply of affordable housing. The recommendation five, approve the environment of £55,000 from the general fund capital contingency to the ICT equipment capitalisation budget for <coughs> the purchase of 20 electronic point of sale tills at our libraries throughout the borough. This will enable um, residents to, to have the option of cashless purchases and payments um, and is part of the wider libraries refurbishment program. Recommendation six, uh, to accept a small environment agency grant of £25,000 for the implementation of minor flood alleviation measures at Pin Meadow Ricelip. Recommendation seven, confirm um, the fees and charges as indicated for services at Breakspear Crematorium effective 1st of April. Now, um, the reason for this being here is what <coughs> happened during the construction of the budget, which we had at Council in February, the fees and charges area of the budget. As happens 
from time to time our charges are so much lower than our neighbouring boroughs uh, that even levying a charge of 90% uh, would give an excessive charge to a Headingham resident um, compared to what others are paying. As regards the charges shown at Brakesbury Crematorium, these five particular charges, the if I tell you the first version of the budget that I got, the if we levied 90% of what our neighbouring ch uh, boroughs charge, we would have to put the, the, one of these charges up by 44%. Um, this would affect both residents and non-residents. In this particular case, we don't differentiate between scattering ashes for residents and non-residents, etc. So it's the same charge, but still a 44% rise was not acceptable. So we decided that we'd um, phase it in over a number of years. In reality, we'll never catch up because the other boroughs will be moving ahead of us all the time. But just looking at the first two of those charges, scattering ashes, currently £51. Um, if we put it up in line with our neighbouring boroughs, it would be £69, so we settled on 57 The second charge, uh, £307, would have gone up to £441, so that we've settled on 352 um, Unfortunately, what happened, the, the budget that came to Cabinet in December, which we approved to go on to Council, um, had the revised figures in, these figures. When it got to Council, for some reason, the um, residence charge was the original um, hyped figures, um, i.e. £69 and £441, and the non-residence was the revised figure, so a little bit of a foul up in uh, putting that together. Um, but, as luck would have it, and I'm extremely grateful, Councillor Eggington was flicking through the papers during the course of the meeting, and he uh, pointed this out. And we do need, um, from time to time, to remind ourselves and our residents how our fees and charges compare to other boroughs, and this is a really good example of what we would regard as excessive charging, it would not apply in Hillingdon, and as I say, I'm grateful to Council Eggington for allowing us to show uh, an example of, of what we actually do in action, because we tend to pass the fees and charges through um, on the nod, although they're always um, at least 10% uh, cheaper than our neighbouring boroughs. Uh, recommendation 8 is a straightforward gift funding in re um, relation to a planning performance agreements. Um, in respect to the BNM, usually. They are the recommendations. Um, again, as Councillor Bianco has indicated, 1,769k under budget, uh, savings all bar 250k uh, banked. And if you look on page 20, we paragraph 35 and 36. There's still 150k in priority growth and 680k in heading an improvement program. Funding should be needed, uh, which we probably uh, won't by the year end, but an extremely uh, strong financial position to be in and one uh, that is the envy of uh, said neighbouring boroughs, without doubt. Um, are there any questions on those recommendations? If not, are they agreed? Agreed. agreed. Thank you very much. <coughs> Moving on to agenda item six, in the absence of Councillor Burrows, uh, I will move the recommendation, and it is that we note the updated um, information in Appendix 1 uh, in respect of Section 106 and Section 278 agreements. In Quarter 3, the Council has received an additional income of 1,504,000, and spent 294,000 of the cumulative sum. As at the 31st of December, the council held 16 million and 9,000 pounds in both section 106 and 278. Of that, 5,648,000 is allocated or earmarked for projects, and 5,788,000 uh, relates to funds that we hold, but for one reason or another we're currently unable to spend. 
That leaves a residual balance that we hold of 6498 k which is currently spendable and available to allocate to specific projects. And as usual, I would uh, do what Council Burroughs does and ask Cabinet members to uh, run a, a ruler over it and see if there's anything of interest to them. Are there any questions? If not, is the recommendation agreed? Agreed. Thank you. We now move to part two. Thank mm -hmm. you.